Hi, I'm Chris Martirano with American Music and Sound and our great friends here at Kraft Music, the home of the fantastic bundles, offering excellent value. I'm here to show you the Studio Logic Numa Compact 2X, a very lightweight, portable instrument weighing at just under 18 pounds, featuring 128 voices of polyphony, a myriad of very cool features, including real-time organ modeling, Real-time controls, works as a great USB MIDI controller, and has two gigabytes of sound memory. And this is a very cool part. The user can upload up to one gigabyte of their own samples into the instrument. So I'm gonna be showing you the instrument and digging in deep. Let's talk about some of the additional features on the NUMA Compact 2X. The additional features include these real-time controls on the front panel. I have nine sliders. They double as drawbars for the modeled organ. And they also can operate on the synth sounds, controlling things like resonance and cutoff, things like envelope attack decay release for the filter and also for the amplifier. Then there's an LFO depth and LFO rate that can be controlled. So you can now make synth patches and save them back to the instrument. Also on the other sounds such as pianos, electric pianos, the first two sliders will control resonance and cutoff. So you can make some of the sounds a little duller, or a little more synthesized in nature. Very, very cool stuff. Also in the instrument now, on the organ modeling side, they've done some great things like add features such as you have control over percussion, whether you have the second or the third harmonic, whether you have the percussion loud and soft, fast or slow decay, and then you also have the, the full vibrato chorus selections you would find on a tone wheel organ. So you have the three vibrato settings, the three chorus settings. They have a great rotary emulation built in and dual effects processors round out what you can do with the sounds. You can add things like phasing, chorusing, flanging, delay. In fact, you can have up to six simultaneous effects. So the instrument, a couple things you should know right away, 88 note, semi-weighted action with after touch. Instrument is a four zone instrument, so you can split the instrument and have an internal zones, left and right, or they call them upper and lower, and then two MIDI zones that you can also have to control external gear. Whether it be legacy gear over the MIDI ports or newer gear, iOS devices or your computer over the USB port, which is high speed. A cool feature now is that you can also receive audio back over USB. So in addition to transmitting and receiving MIDI, you can now send audio and receive audio back over USB. I'll be showing you that a little later in this demo. Let me show you a handful of the sounds that show you the quality of the ROM based sounds the factory has provided. I'll start with one of the concert pianos. Okay, the instrument works by categories. So you have categories such as acoustic piano, electric piano, keys, bass, guitar, etc. By selecting a category, the display will show you a variety of instruments under that category that you can select using the alpha knob. So in this case, I'm going to pick a different piano just so we can hear one. And this one, I'll pick an electric grand.
So I'm going to add some effect to this sound and dress it up into something I like. I'm going to put a little chorusing on it. I can control the chorusing depth from a knob. I can control the rate from the second joystick, which is sprung only in the up and down position, not in the left and right. Left and right is used usually for rate. So right now I've put some chorusing on it. I'm going to put it in a room simulator, and I might add a little high-end treble from my two bands of EQ. I'm going to jump into the electric piano category. I'll show you a Tyne electric piano and a Reed electric piano, just so you can hear, again, the quality of sounds. And here's a Reed electric piano. I'm going to put some tremolo on it, which would have been found on the original. I'm going to increase the tremolo depth to where I want it and set the rate where I like it. I'll also have some chorus waiting that I can add, but I'll have the knob turned off at the moment. But it's still assigned. So here's one of the clavs, great sounding clav. I'll put a little bit of phaser on it, and we'll have some fun with this one. Here's the acoustic upright bass. I like the fact that you actually can hear the finger on the string and you can hear the cavity of the bass resonating. It's a really great sound. And when you split it with a piano, it's a lot of fun to play, which I'll show in just a second. Here's an electric bass. Also, plenty of attitude in the sound. Got a little touch of flanger on there. If I shut it off, you can just hear it very clean. A lot of fun to play. There are sounds in the guitar category, such as acoustic guitars, electric guitars, 12 string, a lot of assortment here. I'm just gonna pick one that I like. This is the electric guitar.
Let's look at the organ. This is a very cool advancement in this instrument. Press the organ tab and I'm presented with a variety of organs, but they're all modeled. Since the modeled organ is such a cool feature, let's dig in and really look deep at what's going on here. First off, you have the nine draw bars. As I move them, our display will, af will effectively show us the movement of the draw bars, which is cool, and it shows us the numbers one through eight for the settings. We have also here the chorus and vibrato settings and the percussion settings. These allow us to change the organ as we would on a tone wheel organ. I'm going to play a little bit now and let you just hear what the organ sounds like and make some modifications. There are additional parameters that you can change that are found under the global menu that will affect the organ modeling. Let's take a look at what some of those parameters are. Here we have key click on. This refers to the volume that you're going to hear on that kind of DC clicking effect that you hear. Uh, then you have an off volume, which is when you let the key up, there's an additional component. We can adjust the volume to those. Let's just play with it a little bit and hear what it's doing. So we can hear that key click going on, which is very cool. If I decide I want to change the key up effect, I can change how much I can hear. Now it's to the absurd level, but at least you can hear what's going on. I'll reduce them back to a reasonable rate. And then also you can adjust percussion volume for fast and for slow. In this case, this is the volume for fast. This is the volume for slow. I can turn it up a bit. Then I have the ability to save these over USB and save all my programs I've made over USB. So let's dig into the synth section and see how these real-time controls affect the sound. So you can see the real-time changes you can make to the amplifier, attack and decay release, the filter, attack, decay and release. I added a little LFO and was changing the rate. Also you have then cutoff and filter resonance. This allows for very powerful shaping over the sounds. If we look at what's found under the synth category, we find also pure synth waveforms such as sawtooth and square in addition to programs. So We'll just explore what's under the hood, and we can see here that we have sawtooth, square, triangle, and pulse. So we can build raw sounds from scratch, or we can select one of the nice programs they've given you. 
such as uh, jump saw, synth brass, square mix, and clusters. These are very nice programs, and they're great for making pad layers to complement some of the other sounds. So let's look at what the organ's like when we're actually playing it in real time, maybe with a split. In this case, I'm going to split it with a synth bass. If you want to make a split where you're comping with your left hand instead of a bass, you can certainly use a different organ program, again with real-time controls. I just select the upper or the lower side, whichever I wish to adjust with the drawbars. In this case I have four drawbars pulled out. I can adjust what I want. I can send these in and just pull the first two or three out. And I'll use that for my left hand comp. On the other side, I can pull out the first three, add my percussion, and I have. Very easy to set up multiple registrations, save them. In this case, I gave it a name, and I'm able to save it to one of my user locations. I'm going to show you how the controls work on the synths in real time as well. I made a preset I'm going to start from, and we'll just make some adjustments. I'd like to show you a synth program now using a split. I have a sound to the left called Monster. That's kind of a grungy synth sound and a typical kind of slow soloist lead sound to the right. <laughs> So I'm going to show you two programs I put together in here using the synth waveforms. In this case, I used two different sawtooth waves. I detuned them. I'm using a resonant filter on them. And I have an envelope sweeping the filter. Very traditional kind of an old school analog sound. But check out the quality. <laughs> This next program is a little more ethereal, and it's using a couple of the presets that are found under the synth section. I've made some small modifications to them.
I mentioned earlier that you can send audio over USB. So here I have an iPad, and I'm sending from an app that I'm using audio back through the instrument, and I'm going to play along with it using an electric bass, an electric piano, and a split. So here we go. I'll just start up this drum groove. So you get the idea, it's very cool. And if you're a jazz lounge musician, you take this with an iPad with you and maybe run an app something like iReal B. I can start this playing and play along just using a jazz trio setup with a bass and a piano. And I'll use the iReal B to play the backing track. So you get the idea. This is a very powerful setup. You take this up and on a hotel room if you're out traveling or take it into the back room on a gig if you're doing vocal rehearsals or if you just want to warm up. And with an iPad, something like GarageBand, you have a small portable studio right here. You have a digital interface essentially. That's what's happening with the instrument. And you have all these great sounds you can play. Don't forget also you can upload one gigabyte of your own sounds into the instrument as well. Thank you again for watching. I'm Chris Martirano. If you need more information, contact your sales advisor at Kraft Music either by phone or by email or by real-time chat. Mm -hmm.